Hi everyone, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic and welcome to your five day Pilates on the go guide. Each workout is under 35 minutes, so you're in and you're out, you've had your stretch, your mobility, and then your full body Pilates total workout. Now you won't need any equipment for any of these workouts as well, so it does make it for the perfect little series if you'd like to take it away on your next holiday or simply just doing it at home with ease. Now before we get started, make sure to like this workout and subscribe as well so I can keep on providing these workouts to you. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. <laughs> Today's workout is an intermediate to advanced mat Pilates flow. You don't need any equipment, so this makes for a perfect travel friendly workout. So when you're ready, we're gonna start with our warm up. We'll get into our glute strength, some advanced moves for our abs and coordination, back to our legs and then we're going more abs. So it's full body, but there is a focus on lower body and abdominals in this one. So when you're ready, join me standing up. We're gonna start with some calf rises, relaxing those arms down by your side. Get you to close down those eyes for a second, taking a deep breath in through your nose. Rocking your weight forward onto your tippy toes. Breath out, rock your weight back onto your heels. Again, inhale, rock forward slowly. Breath out, rock back. One more here. Inhale, rock forward. And breath out, shifting your weight onto your heels. Now finding neutral, peek open those eyes. And then from here, calf rises, bringing those arms up overhead, lifting those heels, squeezing into those calves. From here, lowering one arm as you lower both heels and then calf rise back up. One arm lowers and heels drop, both arms up. We want to connect into our back here, so give those back muscles a little squeeze each time those arms rise up with your heels. Feeling that center of gravity here, thinking about lifting straight up and straight down. 10 more seconds here, getting up as high as you can on those tippy toes. Warming up these ankles, ready for our lunges soon. Good, last five, four. We hold it at the top in three, in two. Rise up, lift those arms, hold up onto those tippy toes. From here, scissor those arms and we change. Keeping high on those toes, just for eight. Squeezing the abdominals in a little, squeezing down your back. Staying up nice and tall for the last three, and two, and one. Lower those heels. Roll your spine down, tuck chin to chest as we round through our spine. Holding at the bottom, bend into your left knee. Reach your right arm up towards the sky and look up at the sky. Breath in. Exhale, both hands come back down to the floor. Other side, bend deep into that right knee. And stretching that left arm and leg. Looking up at that sky, both hands down. Take your feet a little wider for the next one. So bend into your left knee, reach your right arm. And back in. Reach to the other side. Both hands down, hold here, round your spine, bend your knees. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine, press your knees back to lengthen the legs. Exhale, ragdoll down, bend your knees, let your head be heavy. And again, halfway lift, fingertips to the floor, hips tilting up to the sky, and then round through your spine, ragdoll. Last one here, breath in. Eyes looking forward. And round, hold it at the bottom. We'll really slowly roll up. So begin by stretching those arms to let them hover off the floor. Now tuck under your hips. We're gonna restack our vertebrae one on top of another until we come all the way at the top. From here, big breath in, reach your arms up towards the sky. Release that right arm, side bend over. Big stretch. And then ragdoll, sweep around, arms to a letter T. Other side, reaching the right arm over to the left. And ragdoll down, letter T. One more on each side, thinking about lengthening up and over, creating that curve through our spine. And roll down. Last one on the other side. 
sliding that hand down your thigh, past your knee, and then ragdoll all the way back up. Hands coming behind your head, stepping to the top of your mat here, ready for our first little bit of leg strength work. I'm gonna take a step back, just a small one, with that right foot. You're gonna tilt at your hips, so hinge, as we bend into a reverse lunge and pulse. Then stand all the way back up. So we step back just a little. We want to keep our body weight forward into that front left foot and then stand all the way back up. 10 more here. Coming down and pulse. Nice. We want to make sure our feet are lined up like train tracks. So they are parallel. We've got eight more to go. Driving down into that front left heel. Good work. Let's feel that back connect as well. So elbows are wide. We feel that little squeeze through our back. You've got three more. Pulse, pulse and stand. Down for two. And stand. Last one. And stand. Hold it back on the next one here. And we're gonna twist our body weight over our left thigh. Twisting right around and then swivel back to the center. Stay low, we go again. Twist around that left thigh and then back to center. Really push down into your mat so you're gonna leave a nice big footprint into your mat. Stay as low as you can. Nice work, we want our hips hinged. So we're really reaching our tailbone back behind us and we're like peeking over a cliff here. We don't wanna fall off the cliff, but we wanna have a look so we're getting that length through our spine. And twist. Abs are drawn in. We should be feeling that heat work through that left glute. Ooh, we're gonna stay here for three. Back to center for two. Back to center. Last one. Hold it back through to center. From here, we're gonna tap the floor with your right hand, left hand behind your hip. Now we're gonna come up into a little knee drive and a hop with running arms. So we tap the fingertip down, hinge forward and leap all the way up. If you want a low impact option, just rise on up into that knee drive. We're gonna still feel it, but if you have it in you today, let's go for that hop. Make sure we're hinging, sending the hips to the back of your mat and then really launch off. Let's go. Good, you've got another eight seconds. Good, can we pick up that pace maybe? Woo, feeling fiery. Last five, four, three. Leap it up, nice and soft as we land. Last two, give me one more. Well done, step back into a plank. From here, turn it into a side plank. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Stack your feet if you can. Reach that arm. Side plank here into a knee to elbow and then lengthen the arm and leg. Now we dip those hips down. Little side bend, banana all the way back up. And again, pull it in, obliques. And let the hips fall down gracefully. Big strong push away down into your mat. Doing so well, this one is quite advanced. We come down and up. If you need to modify, you can keep your bottom leg down and move into just that oblique crunch here and maybe a little hip dip. All right, doing so well. Let's go for another 10 seconds. Good, last four. Keep it slow and controlled. Last three. Ooh, last two. Give me one more. Beautiful work. Lower those hips all the way down, sending those legs long into our L sit. Sit nice and tall. All right, we're gonna take those hands behind the back of your head, lift up out of your hips. Keep that length of your spine. 
for our neck pull. So we hinge back, keeping the spine straight. When you can't go back any further, we're gonna round through your lower spine, printing it down onto the floor, nice and smoothly. All right, we're gonna come back up, chin to chest, heavy through your legs. Roll your spine all the way up, pull over your thighs and pulse over. Round your spine, sit tall. Knee, sorry, neck pull, this is called. So we hinge back as far as you can, ribs drop. We round through the spine once you can't go anymore. Breath out. Pull over those thighs, little pulse. Round, sit tall. And again. So if you need to modify, you're gonna have your knees bent. You can, if you need more support, reach for the behind those legs. And then maybe you just fold forward for a little stretch. So a few options there. I'm gonna do a few more. Challenge yourself, how far back can we go? And then feel each vertebrae print down. Rolling up. Pulse, pulse. Good, you're gonna give me two more here. Last one. Good, sitting nice and tall. Beautiful work, we're gonna take it down onto our back here now. Go ahead, roll down nice and slowly. All right, pull those knees in towards your chest. And then from here, we're gonna extend those legs up towards the sky. Holding onto the back of those legs, release one leg down. Staying in your curl, pull, pull, and switch. Single leg, straight leg scissor, and pull, pull, and switch. Breathe out as you pulse the leg in. Inhale to switch. All right, let's torch up that abs, those abs. Pulse, pulse, change, pulse, pulse, change. Last eight, seven, six. Hands behind your head for our peekaboo. Coming up in five, four, three, two, and one, bend those knees in, hands behind your head. Glue your elbows to your knee. From here, keep your right elbow onto your right knee and then just open out your left elbow as you extend your left leg. So one side of your body is opened and then we always come back through center before we go to the other side. Both elbows are glued, peak open to the right. Point and reach through that long leg. Meet back in through center, nice and slow, open and twist. Yes, getting nice and strong through our core. And open. Yes, we've got 10 more seconds. Try and stay curled up. I know it's strong, but we're almost through. Peekaboo open, back to center. Peekaboo open, back to center. One more on each side. Whew, well done, hug those knees in towards your chest. We're gonna roll over into our downward facing dog. So hands come onto the floor, lift your hips up towards the sky, pedaling out through the feet. Bending into one knee at a time. Good, from here, walk those feet, teeny tiny steps in towards your hands. Dangle at the bottom and slowly roll back up to stand. All right, other side for those lunges, hands come behind your head. I'm gonna step back with the left foot this time. Little step back, hinge forward over that right. Stay there for a pulse. Stand all the way back up, take it down, and pulse. Pulse, 
Pulse Pulse and Stand. All right, connecting into that back once again, imprinting that right foot down into your mat. Drive down, stand up tall. You've got four more to go. Get that depth here. And three. Stand, down for two. And stand, down for one. All right, take it back down, hold it there. Twisting nice and slowly over that right thigh. Ribs draw in, two. Hug your spine back through center. Nice and slow. Twist around. So your whole upper body is swiveling around your hips. Back to center. Your back foot is pretty light. You've got about 20% in that back foot, 80% push down through that front leg. Couple more here, stay down low. And then move into that little leap and that touch down of the floor. Three more to go. Okay, give me one last one. Twist it around and then come back through to center. Right hand behind your, head, your hips, left hand to the floor. Ready to jump up, runner's arm, and then tap back down. You can take it slow to get your pace, get your form. And then you can creep up that pace if you want more. Remember your option, low impact, just stand. You're still driving down into that right foot. Let's go. Leap it up, land softly onto those right toes. Hips pulling back. So we're getting a nice little stretch through that front leg, through the hamstring. Now we're torching up here. Let's get strong. Last eight. I'm gonna hit that side plank. In four. In three. Leap it up, two. And one, step back. Find your strong plank. Roll onto our side plank position. So your hand stays underneath your shoulder. Reach your left arm up to the sky and over to your bicep to ear. Okay, top leg, hover it up, tuck it in, back together with the feet, lower down the hips, lift up nice and strong, oblique crunch, and lower. Shoulder strength as we breathe out, rainbow that arm over, pull it in. Remember your option if you want to make it a little easier. Little hip dip with that knee down. Just a couple more here, stay with me. You can do it, let's do same effort as the other side. Last three. Last two. Give me one last one. And then lower those hips down. Well done. We have some little rollovers now. If you have any niggles through your neck, you're gonna keep your head down. I'll show you that modification. Otherwise, we're gonna have our hands down by our hips. Legs to tabletop, extend the legs long. From here, roll the hips towards you, send your feet up, and then support behind the back of your hips, squeezing your glutes in your little jackknife. From here, scissoring those legs, splitting them one leg, Forward, one leg back, and then change. And change, so keep your hips up in the air. And if you need to modify for any neck issues, you're gonna stay down and take one single leg lower here. Okay? We've got two variations. 
Balancing up here on our shoulders. Use your glutes to keep you up and your abs, of course. Nice, you've got another rep on each side. And then meet with those legs back up. We're gonna bicycle those legs, one leg long, and then we kick like we're pedaling a bike, round and round. Your option to modify on the ground is just extending those legs here. Imagining you are pedaling out on your bicycle. So good, team. Circle and opposite direction, pedaling backwards. We're almost there. Good. Last four, three, two, and roll all the way down. Hands come underneath your hips. Double leg lower. Breath out, lift your legs. Lift your hips. Send your hips back up for a jackknife. Slowly lower those hips down. Double leg lower. Modification here could be a single leg lower. So on the way down, once your pelvis hits the floor, release one leg. Otherwise, two legs are gonna send low over your mat. Breath out, legs lift up. Inhale, lower. You want to think about squeezing those glutes as you lift your hips up, sending those toes up as high as you can, rounding your spine to lower nice and gently. All right, last two reps here. Last one. Hugging those knees in towards your chest, rolling like a ball. Get some momentum as we roll through your spine. Now either stay here and stand to one leg or to advance, release the arms back behind you with those legs and then we round, stand, leg to tabletop. All right, so either holding onto your knees, stay rounded as we stand and draw one knee in. Or if you want more, extend your arms and legs behind you, no hands to stand. So join me if you haven't yet already. one's challenging our core, that balance and stability as we stand. So we're alternating with that knee drive. Ten more seconds. Give me one more. And we're gonna stand all the way up. In one, beautiful work. So you're at the top of your mat here now. I'm just gonna turn around. We're gonna take a little arabesque to balance. So hands onto your hips, right toes, sliding up your shin, coming up towards your knee. Once you get there, turn your knee out to the side and a little balance as we send the leg behind. Balancing on that left leg, coming back in. So we draw up through those toes to knee. Open out, still keep your hips pointing forward. Soft bend into that left knee as we balance and then coming back up. You can use your arms to lift and open. Good, you've got two more here. Last one. Extending the leg behind you. We hold it there. Reach your arms forward and pulse up 
and down. Teeny tiny pulses through that back leg. Stay strong through that left side. Pulse it out. Good, we're gonna hit our plank in five, four, three, two. Land that right foot down, hands come down, step back into your plank. Left leg lifts up, three-legged dog. From here, shift your weight forward, bringing that right knee into your opposite elbow. Then same elbow, send that leg back up, three-legged dog. Continuing here as we shift forward, shoulders over your wrists, tap, tap, three-legged dog. Feel that nice stretch. Keep going. Nice, let's go one more. Left leg steps through to the middle of your hands. Step that right foot in. Slowly roll yourself all the way back up to stand. Okay, other side, hands onto your hips. Left leg, foot's gonna slide up your right shin. Get to your knee, turn the knee out. Left knee opens, okay? And then that little balance, tipping forward at your chest. Stand all the way back up. Draw up. Open, hips point forward, and shoot the leg behind. Stand back up. You can add your arms in. Beautiful, keep going. I'll just show you from the front. We come up, open, leg comes behind. Beautiful, let's go two more. It's our last one. And then we hold the leg back behind us. Reach your arms forward. Go for those pulses, squeeze into that left glute. Bending into that right knee. Pulse, pulse. Good, ready for that plank in eight seconds. And three, two, land your foot back, step back into your plank, shoot that right leg up, three-legged dog. Sending that weight forward as we wrap knee to opposite elbow, same elbow, and then shoot back up. Good, try and think about puffing that chest when you're in your plank. So your shoulder blades are spreading across your back. One more here. Step back into your plank. Now we mountain climb it to finish. In with the knee, alternating this time. In and in. Just 10 seconds, if you wanna run it out, go for it. And four, three, two, and one. Knees go down. Knees are wide as we stretch those arms for a child's pose. And just rest your forehead down onto your mat. Breathing deeply into the back of your ribs. Sending that breath into the belly. And then breathing out through the mouth. One more deep breath in here. Exhale out. Good, transitioning into our little straddle stretch now. Legs are coming out in a V. All right, arms out to the side, reaching up and over to one foot, keeping both hips down onto the floor, pushing your knees down into the floor as we find that side stretch. Good. 
Little semicircle. Back up, other side. Reach over to the left foot. Little semicircle. One more on each side. Seeing if you can get a little further this time. Roll through the center, other side. Roll it through. Both legs coming together. Reach your arms up towards the sky for a forward fold. Stretching into the back of those legs. You're now folding down and just breathing deeply. Melting down that extra bit more on the exhales. Beautiful. Let's roll back onto your back, pulling that right knee in towards you. Pull it in nice and deep as you keep that other leg heavy onto the mat. And then extend that leg up towards the sky. Hold it here, flex your foot and point your toe. Three more, flex and point. Flex, point the toes. Last one and pull both knees in. Swapping to the other side, right leg is heavy this time. Hold here for a second as you give that left knee a big hug and extend your leg up towards the sky, flexing the foot and pointing. Three more. And point. And point. One more. And point. Beautiful work, coming into a pigeon here now. Rock yourself around. We'll keep the right leg forward as we take the left leg back. And we'll just find a nice glute stretch and then you're all done. So try and square your hips to the end of your mat. Good, stay lifted with your chest, with your fingertips on the floor. Feeling a stretch through that back left hip flexor first. One more breath here, and then we take it down. And on your exhale, melting down onto your elbows if your range is there, feeling more of an increased stretch through now your right glute. Hold here for two breaths. Press up onto your hands. We're gonna swap straight to the second side. Left leg swings through. Keep your chest lifted, fingertips on the floor and hold that stretch. Trying to push this right hip down, so we're squaring the hips. And then melting down onto those forearms if you can. And holding here for those two deep nourishing breaths. Slowly make your way up, crossing those legs over, and we're taking a mermaid stretch, and then we are all done. Reaching left arm up, take that side bend over. I want you to hold here, and then turn your chest down to the floor. Reach a little further as we twist the chest up towards the sky. And then breathe out, windmill those arms to do the other side. Feel that beautiful stretch first. Reaching long, hips are heavy and equal. And then pivot your chest down, continuing to reach away from you. Pivot your chest up towards the sky, opening your heart. And breath out back through center. Big inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to prayer, to heart. 
Beautiful work, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed today's full body, intermediate to advanced Pilates flow. Please let me know down below how you're feeling in your bodies. And don't forget to subscribe to help support me. Give this video a like and leave your little emoji or comment down below so I can reply. My name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic and I will see you back here for our next workout in this challenge really soon.